Hello, Malcolm here, and welcome to this week's edition of Tuesday Teaching Tips. And today what I'd like to do is bring you a brief report on a conference I went to last week in Tallinn, Estonia, my first time to that country. And it was a conference of people who are academics and theologians and Bible teachers and scholars, as well as ordinary members of congregations who don't have perhaps an interest in the academia side, but nonetheless have a passion for God's word and the power it has to not only transform lives, but also shape communities and bring God glory when it's taught well. And so we had this wonderful conference and thank you ever so much to the church in Tallinn, a uh, hundred odd people who really went out of their way to make us feel welcome, uh, served us tremendously, kept us safe as far as I know from all the COVID-19 stuff. They did a phenomenal uh, a job uh, welcoming, having us feel loved and uh, uh, organizing everything. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, all of you in Tallinn. Hope to come back and see you again another time. But it was a few days over there and I was there together with people from well, all over Eastern and Western Europe, including one person, Paul Smith, who traveled all the way from Johannesburg, which is quite a trek. Uh, others who came from the United States and many more around the world who joined us online. In particular, it was wonderful to be there from some with some people from the UK, uh, uh, Walter and Roberta from um, Birmingham, as well as some from the from East London, uh, Mike D'Souza, Jack Legon, uh, Jane Whitworth, Paul Rowden, and uh, uh, it just it was just super to be together. Oh, Hannah D'Souza as well, and Douglas Jacobi down from uh, down from Scotland or over from Scotland. Super to be together. Great to meet old friends and have meals together, like uh, like with Andy Fleming. It's great to hang out with you, Andy, and make some new friends. Some people I've met in the past, like Val de Kohar, but never had a chance to chat too much, and we had a lovely uh, drink together. Uh, other people, like Dave Pochter. Dave, you and I, we definitely have a meet, had a meeting of minds and hearts. It was wonderful to have that breakfast together. And, and many, many others. I won't go through all of that right now. What I, what I would like to do just for the moment is to urge us all to have a look at the link. I'm going to put the link uh, on screen here and I'll put it in the show notes. The link to the recordings. The re the, all the main sessions and classes were recorded. Both the uh, teaching on Colossians that was a thread through the event. Uh, each chapter had a, a teaching slot and I was privileged to be able to teach on Colossians 2. You can check that out if you like, but the others are, are excellent. And as well as that, there were other classes. Uh, in fact, let me give you the uh, some titles. Let me pull up the program here. Uh, Teaching Ministries by Andy Fleming, part of God's plan for building up the church. Uh, Mission News, uh, The Spirit's Double-Edged Sword, Correctly Handling the Word of Truth, Superclass by Matty Sim. Uh, equipping the Church for Ministry, Teacher Training and Development, Steve Kennard's uh, video presentation, which was tremendous. The Bible and Gender, A Case Study in Maintaining Unity, Amidst Diversity with Valda, Tammy, and others uh, on a panel. Um, Colossians Classes and uh, Working Together. Okay, no. Oh, Building Up the Church, The African Story. Tremendously inspiring example from Emmanuel M.A. and Paul Smith talking about the development of teaching ministry in Africa, super stuff. Then building up the church, congregational teacher training and development, Andy Fleming and others. And I think those are the main classes. So uh, there's, there's a tremendous amount there and I would thoroughly recommend you check all that out. Most of it was themed around Ephesians 4, uh, verses 11 and following, how Christ gave the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers to equip his people for works of service, so the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. I believe this conference uh, helped to achieve that aim. Uh, it's never a work that's finished exactly, but I think it's, it will. it is advancing this aim of God to fully equip and mature his churches. Hopefully we'll do another one again soon. Uh, if not uh, in Tallinn, perhaps somewhere else, uh, in the near future. I hope it'll be an annual thing or more than an annual thing. And I hope maps next time more people from the UK and Ireland might participate. It'd be great to have more of us there. It was inspiring. It was educational. It was uh, heartwarming. It was an opportunity to give and receive love. Uh, it was a place of learning. It was a place of being challenged as well and came back with lots of things to think about, which I'll share more about another time. But I want to encourage you to 
listen or watch the uh, recordings of the classes and consider going on a course. Consider going on, on a Bible study type course to improve and deepen your knowledge of the Bible. As we deepen and under, our understanding and knowledge of the Bible and its power, then our lives are transformed and we're able to help other people's lives be transformed to the glory of God. That's what I'd like to share with you today. A bit of a report. If you have any questions about any of that, do let me know. You can email me, malcolm at malcolmcox.org. If you know of any other conferences coming up, let me know. Perhaps we can go together. Till the next time, take care and God bless.